And as we come on the air tonight, half a million dollars has been spent on new trash cans in Pritchard. And all that money allegedly spent without the city council's approval. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson joins us now with tonight's reality check. Rachel. Kim and Greg, the money came out of a $4.1 million loan the council approved, but it says it did not approve this purchase. The councilman says by law it should approve new purchases in the city. Did the council approve the purchase of the trash cans? No. This purchase order shows 10,444 trash cans were purchased for around $50 a piece, costing the city more than half a million dollars. Those things have to be by law. Uh, brought before the council for a decision to be made. Councilman Lorenzo Martin says the hefty purchase left the council blindsided. And before you make any type of decision of this magnitude, you always want a cost uh, analysis to be able to break down the, the actual feasibility of doing this uh, garbage collection in-house through the city of Pritchard. Mayor Jimmy Gardner recently told us only three people within the city had the authorization to sign off on purchases. Himself, the finance director Patricia Scott and the former city clerk Kim Green, who was recently indicted for stealing money in a separate case. This purchase order for the trash can says sold to Patricia Scott, but the signature on the logo proofing is signed by Public Works Supervisor Fernando Billups, a signature the council says also should have come from it. As the council stands as five, I don't think no employee should want to make a decision on their own of a purchase of $500,000, nor Regents Bank honoring uh, employees' decision. Martin says without extra eyes on the purchase order, this mistake happened. Crossroads of Mobile Country issued on all 10,000 cans. The purchase order the city was not charged for the logo put on the can, but the company is not at fault because Billups signed off on it. Not only that, Martin says the city ordered thousands more garbage cans than needed, racking up at least $180,000. 65 to 8,500 residents paying the municipal fee. So it's about 4,000 cans more than we're picking up. According to Alabama State Code, before purchasing equipment, bidding within the council must take place, and any city improvement costing more than $3,000 shall be awarded to the lowest responsible bidder. We possibly could have got a greater bid lesser than what it would cost us to actually collect it ourselves. I asked the mayor's office was the more than half a million dollar purchase detailed in the $4.1 million contract. Who agreed to purchase the trash cans? Who signed off on the check? Answers to my specific questions weren't answered. Instead, a spokesperson gave me this statement about the loan saying, quote, the $4.1 million loan was granted by the city council by resolution. The mayor says everything he has done has been proper. The council meets this week and they plan to talk about this half million dollar expense. Reporting live in Pritchard, Rachel Wilkerson, NBC 15 News.